is a recipe for pistachio wreaths. This is the kind of cookie that looks pretty on a platter of cookies. It always kind of stands out. It's a very elegant looking cookie, in my opinion. I'm going to start off with one cup of flour. I'm going to add to that a quarter teaspoon of salt, three quarters of a cup of cornstarch. That makes it nice and tender. One half cup of granulated sugar and a teaspoon of baking powder. And we're just going to give that a mix up. In my mixer bowl, I have one stick, four ounces of room softened butter. Okay. And I'm going to start that on low. And I'm going to mix in two egg yolks. Unfortunately, we do not use the whites in this recipe, but you can always make some meringues or whites freeze beautifully. One teaspoon of vanilla. My bowl unsnapped. And now it's going to gradually add the flour mixture. Scrape it down. This mixture is looking a little bit dry to me. And if you ever run into a situation like that where your mixture looks dry, you can always add a little bit of water or a little bit more vanilla, which I'm going to do. We just want this dough to come together and make a nice soft dough, which it's doing. Okay. Now I have a piece of plastic wrap here on my counter because what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this dough up and put it in the refrigerator for about, oh, 20 minutes to a half an hour just to chill it up a little bit. And then we will be rolling this dough and making our wreaths. But let's get it in the refrigerator first. I like to give it a nice flattening. Gives me a head start on my rolling. Okay, so into the refrigerator 20-30 minutes and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to form the wreaths. Our dough is out of the refrigerator. It's been in there for about 20-25 minutes. It's not completely hard. I don't like to let it get completely hard because it starts cracking on me when I roll. So I'm just taking it out sooner. Lightly dusting my board. Unwrap my dough. Now I'm going to roll it oh, about an eighth of an inch thick. Okay. 
And this dough, once you cut out your first group of wreaths, you can just collect it all up and cut them again. Make another ball and just keep rolling. Okay, I think that's about as thick as I want it. Now I have graduated cutters. You have all these different sizes. They're very inexpensive. If you don't have them, you can use a glass or a cup or something. This is a two and a half inches and this is one and a half inch. So um, it's really up to you. I like it because I'm gonna use the fluted side because that'll make a pretty edge on the cookie. So there's one. If it sticks, put it in the flour. Okay, there's 10 on my first roll. And now I think for the inside, I'm gonna use the flat, I'm not gonna use the fluted end. Just try to get it, eyeball it. And this part will get re-rolled. That goes on our cookie sheet. So I am going to just keep cutting and rolling and cutting until I've used up all my dough. Well, I finished cutting out all the pistachio wreaths and I have 35. You might get 36, who knows? Depends on how frugal you are with your dough. I'm going to put these in a 350 degree oven for about 12 minutes. Now you might be saying, where's the pistachios? Well, that's gonna be on the decoration. So I'll show you that after the cookies are baked and cooled. So into the oven, 350, 12 minutes. Our pistachio wreath cookie bases are out of the oven and they're cooled. I've got them on a wire rack here. I told you they were pistachios. No, I'm only kidding. I'm not gonna use all this many pistachios. It's just that at this time of year, I buy my pistachios in bulk so that I have them for all my other cookies and my cakes and torts and all this other stuff and for munching, of course. So we're gonna put those aside. I'm gonna make just a very simple Confectioner's sugar icing. This is one and three quarter cups of confectioner's sugar. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of milk. I might need a little more, I'll keep it handy. And just a touch of almond. Almond is that, it's almost a pistachio flavor. Just mix this up. Yep, a little bit more. Better not to add too much at once, then you'll be just adding more sugar. And I don't want this to be a stiff icing like you dice a cake with. I want it to be a drippy icing. A glaze, if you will. I want to get some of those lumps out of there. And here I have some pistachios, which I've chopped. And I also have some glacé cherries, which I just chopped up kind of small. They're just for a little garnish to give it that red and green holiday feel. 
that's about right. I'm going to get a little messy on the counter here today. So now I'm going to take my wreath and just put it in there. Just let it kind of drip. I'm going to put just a little bit of milk in there. I want that to be a little bit drippier. Another wreath. Drip. Now I'm going to take a couple of these pistachios. I, I think these just look so pretty on a plate of other cookies. This one kind of stands out. You noticed I left a little spot there. I want a piece of cherry or two. And these will harden up and you will have Pretty cookies that really taste nice too. A little bit tedious work on this part. It's not that bad though. Put on some good holiday music. Get in the spirit and do up some cookies. And there you go. There's pistachio wreaths. I'll just keep finishing up my cookie so I have them for my platter. And this way, once the cookie is set, you can store them in either airtight containers or Ziploc bags, freezer type, with wax paper in between, and they freeze beautifully two to three months. Hope you enjoy them.